Hey everyone, good evening. Still holding on to some of these showers and thunderstorms into the area, producing some heavy rain, frequent lightning, and some strong winds. We still have a flood advisory out for most of Giles County, tries to peak in parts of Monroe County. This will continue until 8 p.m. tonight. So where we are still going to hold on to some rounds of some of these heavy downpours, that could heighten that flood risk. So stay aware with the forecast throughout tonight. Have a way to receive weather alerts too. We're still seeing some heavy downpours into the area and some more thunderstorms. As we head off a little bit to the west, this one's trying to head into parts of Buchanan County and it's actually moving more northeasterly. So it's going to head into McDowell and Wyoming counties too. This is a th thunderstorm as well. So we're still holding on to a little bit of some activity for us this evening. Some storm reports out in Buchanan County. These are issued by the National Weather Service. We have a new one. There are some trees down on Slate Creek Road and across the railroad tracks near that area. So if you live around there or are traveling around there tonight, be aware you may run into a few traffic delays. That's the same thing too on US 460. A few trees have been reported down as well in Buchanan County. All things Thanks to that severe storm we saw a few hours ago. Tonight, we could still hold on to a few showers after sunset, may even have an isolated heavy downpour for some, but altogether, we're only going with a 30% chance. So some of the area will actually stay dry after sunset tonight. Temperatures will be into the 60s. We'll stay pretty muggy overnight with a little bit of some patchy fog trying to form tomorrow. Pretty much a copy and paste of what we saw today is in store for our Sunday. Another day where some stronger severe thunderstorms will try to build in. Temperatures will be warm yet again into the 80s for most of us. This is by the Storm Prediction Center. Marginal risk for some severe weather, which is a level one out of five. Main impacts about the same as today. Some damaging winds from some of these thunderstorms, heavy downpours that could lead to flooding, and some frequent lightning. The excessive rainfall outlook issued by the Weather Prediction Center is having us under a marginal risk for heavy downpours that could lead to flooding. So again, what we saw today, what we're still holding on to actually even this evening is possible again for our Sunday. It's all thanks to this warm front here. It's going to stay nearby, mainly up to the north tomorrow, but that's still going to produce some of these scattered showers and some of these scattered thunderstorms. So this is looking at tonight. Most of us should dry things out, may have still a couple of spotty showers that future cast isn't picking up on. But altogether, most of us look to dry things out after sunset. So we'll still hold on to this precipitation for the next couple of hours. Tomorrow, basically the same thing. Even timing looks like in the afternoon and the evening when those temperatures keep warming up. We have the humidity warm front up to our north. That's going to bring us another chance for some showers and storms. And again, we could see some severe weather for our Sunday. So have a way to receive weather alerts tomorrow. We actually hold on to a daily chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the next work week. And we're staying toasty too. high temperatures into the 80s for most of the area.